I wanted to start trading again, actually trading, which is something that a lot of people talk about doing. It's something that a lot of people try to do and they fail. And there's a lot of strong opinions about it on the internet because, well, trading is hard, right? It's a very hard thing to do. So I bought this book and I have read 80% of this book and I have read certain portions more than once. So first, let me say this book is amazing. And this book, I think, is for someone who has experienced trading. Okay, I don't think this is a book for someone who is brand new and has never traded before. Okay, so this book does not give you strategies on how to trade. This book does not tell you, hey, if you see this happen, do this and buy the stock or sell the stock. This book is not going to teach you how to um, you know, execute trades. It's not going to teach you, you know, when to execute trades. Instead, uh, this is a book about the human, the human spirit, um, about human beings. It's, it's a book about the mind and, and trading psychology. It's called Trading in the Zone, and it basically addresses all of the fears and all of the emotions that people have when they're in a trade. And then there's always the stereotype like, oh, you know, to be a trader, you gotta be stone cold. So the key takeaways from this book, okay, these are the key takeaways from Trading in the Zone by Mark. I've read 80%, so I can just, I can tell you what I think the key takeaways are. Um, there's a bunch of them. So one of them um, is, is about risk. You need to accept the fact that when you are trading, you have to take on risk. In, in order to, to make money, you have to risk money, right? Um, that's how it works. And what I mean by that is like, let, let's, say, let's say that there's a stock and it's $100 and, and you want to buy it. Um, and you say, okay, I, I'm, willing, I'm willing to risk $1 on that stock, right? So if it goes down to $99, you're gonna be out of that trade. And then how much do you wanna make? Well, that's something else you can also try to decide beforehand. The reality is though, once you buy that stock at $100, anything can happen. The market can do anything. You have no control over what the market's gonna do. You only have control uh, of your own actions. And that's, and that's the second point I wanna make. Um, the market can do anything, right? And you really only have control over the, over the decisions to buy and sell. Everything else, it's kind of random. Obviously, you know, you look at charts, you use technical analysis, um, you, you can use fundamental analysis. I mean, not that many people use that unless they're like long-term investors, but some people do use that and they do well, right? There's lots of long-term investors that do well. They're not necessarily like day traders. Um, but this is a book that focuses on, again, not, not, not the technique, but you know, the emotional side of trading, the mental side of trading, market psychology. Um, and, and it really beats the point in. So like, you can open this book and we'll, and we'll look at it in a minute. We'll open it and we'll read a little piece. You can open it to any piece and, and start reading and it'll, and it'll basically just kind of just keep hammering the point in over and over. So that only con of the book is, you know, after you make it through about 80%, you're like, okay, you know, this, this guy, uh, Mark Douglas, he's a, he's a really good writer. He's an excellent writer, but I'm in 80%. I'm like, ah, I'm starting to get tired of it. You know, it's the same, you know, it's just the same uh, over and over again. You know, the same, the same concepts have been drilled in so many times that, um, but here, here's, here's, here's something we should read. Eliminating the emotional risk. He talks about thinking and probabilities and all this stuff. And he says, uh, a probabilistic mindset pertaining to trading consists of five. So these are these are his five fundamental truths. Let's read these. Anything can happen, right? The market can do anything, right? That's 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 key. The market can do anything. You might want it to go up. He's like, oh, it needs to go up because it's going to go up. It's going to go. It doesn't matter what you think. It can do anything. Okay, it's it's random. It has nothing to do with you. Sometimes people think the market's out to like, oh, the market's out to get me. The market's out to get people. No, th that's not true. Okay, because the market is not out to get people. You don't need to know what is going to happen next in order to make money, right? That's true, right? Because you don't, because you, you don't know, right? You, just because you think the market is going to go up, you can't, um, you, you can't, you can't say for certain, right? So anything can happen. 
There is a random distribution between wins and losses for any given set of variables that define an edge. Right, so, right, so you're going to win and lose, basically. Accept the losses, accept the wins. Uh, an edge is nothing more than an indication of a higher probability of one thing happening over another. Yeah, what's an edge? Anything, right? Anything that gives you an edge. Anything that you think gives you an edge, right? There's a million ways to trade out there. There's a million strategies and people find them and they use them and they work for a while and they stop working or something happens and they don't, you know, nothing works forever. Every moment in the market is unique. Yeah, so the point with that one is, you know, if you, you look at charts, so, oh, when this happened, this might ha this happened before, so this should happen again. Or this happened six times out of eight, so it's probably going to happen again. Every moment is unique. Anything can happen, right? The market can do anything. So you see how oh, it's very repetitive. Even in the five rules, there's a lot of overlap uh, in the points being made. But that's what I think traders need. So I think this is a good book. I think this is probably this is the best market psychology book I have ever read. Okay, it's, it's the best one I've ever read. I have a bunch of trading books, um, but again, it's not a book that's gonna teach you uh, technical analysis. I'll leave a link in the description, by the way, to this book, and also I'll leave a link to one that teaches you uh, TA, uh, a good one, uh, an actual like you know textbook style uh, book, not just like this is how you make money with stocks, no, like an actual, uh, it's almost like a math book, except it's not mathematics, right? It's technical analysis. You know, there there are things there; they are defined. You know, there are definitions. Um, you know, it is it is. Um, some people won't call it a science, but um, it, it is helpful. It is very very helpful, and uh, it's a whole field of of study, right? It's not perfect, um, but it is better than nothing. Yeah. Debugging your mental software. Yeah, I read that. Really understanding risk. Yeah. Taking responsibility, the safeguards, the lures and dangers, the road to success. Yeah. Yeah, because there are people, right? There are people in the world, okay? There are people in the world that uh, trade and, and they do make a lot of money, right? There, there are people that are out there. I mean, think about... All of the trades, all of the trillions of dollars. I mean, it's just ridiculous how much money is traded every day. Think about who, who's taking these trades, right? Maybe it's computers, I don't know. But um, there are people that uh, make a lot right there. So it is, it is possible, but it is also uh, very hard, right? So trading in the zone, Mark Douglas. I actually bought this brand new. Yeah, this is actually a new copy of the book. I, I was going to get it used. And I spent like an I spent maybe like half an hour um, looking on Amazon and on different websites trying to find this book used, and I think I found it for like I don't know I think it was like four dollars less than the new price. I'm like I'm just gonna get it new. <laughs> so like and it said like it had highlighting. I'm like ah, I don't know it's four dollars more as a brand new book. So I just gotta smell it. Ah, it smells great. Yeah, so I'll leave a link in case you want to get it. Uh, the, the one I bought I bought my copy new. Uh, on Amazon, so pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, I started trading again. Um, it's been it's been a few weeks now, and it's been it's been good, right? I don't want to get too excited about it, um, and, and the reason I don't want to get excited about it is because if if you think about even what this book presents, right? You take a trade, anything can happen, right? The market can do anything, right? You don't know. All you can do is you can control your risk. And hope you make good decisions and hope that, you know, you overall, if you looked at all of your trades, you would hope, you know, that the expected value is positive, right, your, of, your, of your wins. You want a positive expected value. You want to be profitable consistently and all that stuff. So anyways, I hope it's been helpful. Take care.